Hey friends, I am Sunil working as BSNL GE. Welcome to BSNL GE 2016 exam preparation. In this video, I am going to discuss network filters and transmission line topics. That is nothing but uh, VSWR. That is voltage standing wave ratio. Voltage standing wave ratio. Or also it is called standing wave ratio. SWR. Standing wave ratio. It is the ratio of maximum voltage to the minimum voltage on a transmission line. It is the ratio of maximum voltage to the minimum voltage on a transmission line. And this VSWR equal to 1 plus mod K. K is nothing but reflection coefficient. That is 1 plus mod K by 1 minus mod K. Or VSWR is equal to ZR by Z0. That is R equal to Z0 by ZR. ZR by Z0 or Z0 by ZR. ZR is nothing but load impedance and Z0 is nothing but characteristic impedance. Characteristic impedance. Uh, that means it is a ZR by Z0 or Z0 by ZR. That is whichever is greater. Whichever is greater. If uh, ZR by Z0 is greater, then the VSWR is ZR by Z0. If uh, Z0 by ZR is greater, then uh, VSWR equal to Z0 by ZR. In this way, we have to take uh, VSWR value. That is VSWR formula. And uh, this uh, VSWR, that is voltage standing wave ratio, is a scalar quantity. It is a scalar quantity. It is not a vector quantity. It is a scalar quantity. And it lies between 1 to infinity. VSWR values lies between... 1 to infinity very very important VSWR value is less between 1 to infinity and coming to the case 1 that is nothing but ZR equal to Z0 if ZR equal to Z0 that means load impedance equal to characteristic impedance load impedance equal to characteristic impedance then we know that uh, the value of VSWR equal to Z0 by ZR or ZR by Z0 whichever greater whichever greater in this case one ZR equal to Z0 means ZR equal to Z0 means both are cancelled that is the value is 1 the value is 1 so VS for if ZR equal to Z0 the VSWR value equal to 1 if the VSWR that is voltage standing wave ratio is 1 there is no reflections there is no reflection in wave form so there is no reflection in waves means it is a ideal case ideal case it is no reflection no reflection means no loss no loss that means uh, total power if SWR equal to 1 the total power delivered to the load there is no losses no reflection means no losses so in case of uh, load impedance equal to characteristic impedance the VSWR value is uh, our standing wave ratio is 1 uh, when the standing wave ratio is 1 the total power delivered to the load it is very very important when standing wave ratio is 1 the total power delivered to the load why because there is no reflection no reflection means no losses no losses and coming to the second case if ZR equal to 0 if ZR equal to 0 we know that the value of VSWR equal to ZR by Z0 or Z0 by ZR. Here for uh, this for, from this first equation, if ZR equal to 0, ZR equal to 0, the value is 0. Here from this second one, if ZR equal to 0 means 1 by 0, that is infinity. So, whichever is greater, infinity is greater. So, the VSWR is infinity. If ZR equal to 0, the VSWR is infinity. In second case, if ZR equal to infinity, that means uh, VSWR equal to ZR by Z0 or Z0 by ZR. If ZR equal to infinity means, here the value is infinity by anything means infinity. Here 1 by infinity means 0. Whichever is greater, infinity. So, VSWR is infinity. VSWR is infinity. And once again, if ZR equal to Z0 or ZL equal to ZC, in any, uh, in any notations, uh, take one notation as uh, reference. If uh, load impedance 
equal to characteristic impedance that is zr equal to z naught the value of aswr is 1 either zr equal to 0 or zr equal to infinity the vswr values goes to infinity goes to infinity and vswr of a matched line for a matched line matched line is nothing but uh, zr equal to z naught matched line is nothing but load impedance equal to characteristic impedance this is z naught that is uh, for match line means the value of z if z r equal to z naught the waste w r is 1 so value is 1 that is nothing but in case of db it is a 0 db it is a 0 db and the reflection coefficient of mod k equal to v s w r minus 1 by v s w r plus 1 very 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 important uh, the value of uh, the coefficient of uh, reflection k equal to v s w r minus 1 by v s w r plus 1 and uh, the uh, some problems uh, some formulas if maximum impedance on a transmission line the maximum trans impedance of a transmission line that is z max equal to uh, z max equal to in terms of vswr is z max equal to vswr into z naught maximum impedance equal to vswr into z naught and minimum impedance equal to z naught by vswr maximum is vswr into z naught that is z naught into vswr here z minimum equal to z naught by vswr okay and coming to the distortion in a, in a transmission lines coming to the topic distortions in transmission lines there are mainly two distortions one is frequency distortion second is delay distortion there are mainly two distortions one is frequency distortion and delay distortions and if we are transmission there is a condi there are two conditions uh, uh, for uh, distortion less distortion less in transmission line that is the uh, uh, first condition is the attenuation constant is not depend upon frequency the attenuation constant alpha is not depend upon frequency and the next condition phase constant beta phase constant beta is linearly dependent on frequency is linearly dependent on frequency first one attenuation constant alpha is not dependent on frequency and phase constant beta is linearly dependent on frequency once again if a transmission line is free from distortion only when first one alpha is not depend upon frequency beta is dependent on frequency so we can say that uh, what is a distortion line distortion line is a one for which the attenuation constant is not dependent and the phase constant is dependent on frequency then the line is called distortion less line or free from distortion that is distortion less line okay and dis next one distortion less line distortion less distortion less line okay please correct it uh, who have notes the distortion less line distortion less line okay the distortion less line is one in which the attenuation constant is frequency independent that is it does not depend on frequency while phase constant is linearly dependent on frequency phase constant is linearly dependent on frequency the condition for this uh, distortionless line equal to r by l equal to g by c r by l equal to g by c or nothing but uh, uh, lg equal to rc lg equal to rc and the characteristic impedance uh, for this distortionless line z naught or zc z naught equal to root of l by c root of l by c and uh, for this uh, distortionless line uh, constant uh, alpha that is nothing but uh, attenuation constant alpha equal to root of rg root of rg Bo r and g both are uh, independent of frequency so alpha value there is here no frequency term so alpha value that is uh, an attenuation constant is does not dependent on frequency and beta phase constant beta equal to omega into root lc that means omega it depends upon frequency so that is the phase constant beta value dependent on frequency uh, dependent on frequency okay these are the distortion less line distortion less line just uh, please correct uh, this distortion less line distortion less line okay please correct who have already notes okay and uh, what is a distortion less line for this distortion distortion less line the 
attenuation constant must be independent of frequency that means it does not depend on frequency and uh, phase constant beta must be dependent on frequency then the transmission line said to be distortionless line uh, in distortionless line for distortionless line r by l equal to g by c r by l equal to g by c and next one lossless line lossless line for lossless line the resistance r equal to 0 and equal to g r equal to 0 and equal to g that is uh, r equal to g equal to 0 value for lossless line a transmission line is said to be lossless if the conductors of the line are perfect if the conductors of the line are perfect that means uh, con the, that means uh, sigma is infinity sigma is infinity and uh, dielectric mediums are separating them is lossless and uh, dielectric medium separating the conductors is lossless uh, that means uh, the lossless means the resistance value equal to zero resistance value equal to zero then the, la the line is said to be lossless or if the conductors of the line are perfect the line is said to be lossless for this lossless condition alpha value equal to zero because alpha is both dependent on r and g so uh, alpha equal to zero and beta equal to beta equal to omega into root lc omega into root lc this is a lossless line and the summarization of uh, this uh, general line uh, general line lossless line and distortionless line the for this uh, propagation constant and characteristic impedances are propagation constant is denoted by gamma for uh, general case the propagation constant is root of r plus j omega l into g plus j omega c and z naught equal to root of r plus j omega l by g plus j omega c and for lossless line for lossless line uh, the propagation constant equal to j omega into root l by c j omega into root l by c and characteristic impedance is root l by c root l by c and coming to the distortionless line uh, for propagation constant is root of rg plus j omega root lc rg is not root rg is nothing but alpha omega into root lc nothing but beta and characteristic impedance is same as lossless line that is root of l by c root of l by c we know that for lossless line r and g values are zero so that's why this term goes to zero so then, then uh, the remaining con uh, the remaining is j omega root lc in this way we can also remember uh, for lossless line the propagation constant is equal to j omega into root lc okay and uh, a lossless line is a distortionless line a lossless line is a distortionless line but but the distortionless line need not to be a lossless line a lossless line is a distortionless line but this distortionless line is need not to be a lossless line okay and next topic simple topic it is a smith chart smith chart it is a basically a graphical indication of the impedance of a transmission line it is a basically a graphical indication of the impedance of a transmission line this smith chart is used to solving transmission line problems smith chart uh, it, it smith chart is uh, nothing but uh, this smith chart is like way likewise these are the impedance uh, lines impedance lines uh, that is it is a graphical representation of this impedance line impedance of a transmission line so smith chart is basically a graphical indication of uh, impedance of a transmission line it is used to solving the transmission line problems okay okay thank you friends in the next video i will discuss remaining topics of network filters and transmission lines okay all the best